Yeah, good afternoon to you, Janelle. You know, the district attorney really credited not only the law enforcement in this area, but the residents in Armstrong County who were vigilant over the past 24 hours, who were looking at vehicles driving by, people walking on their street. And ultimately, it was a resident here who notified police and got Robert Christman into custody. This is Robert Christman. He's 38 years old, and he escaped from the Armstrong County Jail yesterday during breakfast service. He was initially in there on a probation violation for a nonviolent crime. He was able to to escape out the back and for more than 24 hours state police and officers all around the area were searching for him. He is also a suspect and will be charged in the murder of an acquaintance, Tammy Long, the Armstrong County coroner telling us Long was found asphyxiated. She was strangled inside her home on Rayburn Drive, not far from the Armstrong County 911 center. Now, initially today, this apprehension was able to take place because residents were calling in. They saw Tammy Long's stolen vehicle in the area of State Route 1034 in Boggs Township. Then more 911 calls came in from residents who said they saw a man matching Christman's description walking in the area where that truck was spotted and he was carrying a gas can. Then the district attorney tells us it was a woman who was inside a home with her children who said Chrisman came to her door. She called 911 and for several minutes the 911 dispatcher and that woman were able to calmly get information and get in place so state police could arrest Chrisman around 840. This arrest happened after about a five to seven mile vehicle pursuit in which the DA tells us Chrisman actually tried to hit a state police vehicle, but it was that dispatcher and that brave woman that the district attorney credits for this apprehension. Listen. Additional calls then came in of an individual matching the description of Mr. Chrisman being in that area, possibly carrying a gas can. A short time later, a call came in from a private resident in that area indicating that a Mr. Chrisman was at her door, knocking on her door. While she remained on the line with 911, police were notified and units were dispatched to that area immediately. At 8.20, those dispatch began involving all the personnel I indicated earlier. And at 8.40, Mr. Chrisman was apprehended. Now, the district attorney tells us that Chrisman will face a long list of charges, including the homicide of Tammy Long, theft of two trucks, some stolen guns, the escape from the Armstrong County Jail, and aggravated assault on a public servant for allegedly trying to hit that state police vehicle. He is currently at the state police barracks in Catanning. From there, he will be arraigned at a magistrate judge in Catanning. And from there, the district attorney tells me Chrisman will be taken to the Butler County Jail because the DA says he didn't feel it would be appropriate to take him back to the Armstrong Strong County Jail from where he originally escaped. Now, I asked the DA, given the escape, will there be talks in the future with the county leaders to assess the initial escape, to see what happened, and how to prevent that again? He said, absolutely. In fact, conversations about what happened and when that official meeting will take place are already underway. Of course, this is a very big developing story, and we will bring you even more in our later newscast this evening. For now, that is the very latest live in Armstrong County. Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.